So our first example that is on the integral of e to the 4x dx over 1 plus 3e 4x squared. So the first step here, that is we are going to bring up the denominator 1 plus 3e 4x that is negative 2 e 4x dx n that is equal to negative 2 this is our n over u u that is equal to 1 plus 3e 4x okay. then du here over du that would be equal to 3 e 4 x times 4 dx so that's the reason our du that is equal to 12 e 4 x dx so with that our du that is equal to 12 so 12 e 4 x dx so we can now continue solving our problem we will have the integral of 1 plus 3 e 4 x negative 2 and our du is 12 e 4 x dx this is now our du so therefore we multiply 12 so multiply 1 over 12 okay so we have now a complete form that is we have our du u to the n so from that we can proceed to 1 over 12 1 plus 3 e 4 x okay negative 2 plus 1 that is negative 1 over negative 1 plus c so therefore our final answer that is equal to negative 1 over 12 1 plus 3e 4x negative 1 plus c or you can have if you want you can have that as your final answer for example the integral of tangent squared 3x minus 1 second squared 3x minus 1 dx so if you are going to look at here n is equal to positive 2 u is equal to tangent 3x minus 1 du that is equal to second squared 3x minus 1 times 3 dx so you will have du is equal to 3 second squared 3x minus 1 dx so that is our du so we can have the integral of the integral of tangent squared 3x minus 1 our du that is equal to 3 second squared okay you will have 3x minus 1 dx okay. so therefore you will have so we have 3 here so we are going to multiply one third so if you are going to examine this one 
this one is our du okay this one is our u to the n so that is now a complete form so when that is complete so proceed now to the formula so you will have one third tangent that is 2 plus 1 that is cube 3x minus 1 over 3 plus c so therefore you will have 1 over 9 tangent cube 3x minus 1 plus c so this is now our final answer Sine to the fourth, e2x, cosine e2x, e2x, dx. So, if you are going to look at this one, over u, so we will have where n is equal to 4, okay, u is equal to sine e2x. Then, derivative of that, du that is derivative of sine cosine e to x derivative of e to x that is e to x times 2 dx okay so therefore du is equal to 2 e to x cosine e to x dx so we will have this one so that is now our du so we can write now so you will have the integral of sine to the fourth e to x cosine e to x okay then you will have e to x you still have okay you still have 2 dx okay. so we will have Okay, so if you are going to look at that one, we have 2 here, so multiply 1 half. So, from that, so, if you are going to look at this one, this is now our du, okay? This one is our u to the n. So, if you are going to look at that one, so that is a complete form. So, you will have 1 half sine 4 plus 1, that is 5 e to x. Okay. Over 5 plus c. So, our final answer, that is equal to 1 over 10 sine 5 e to x plus c. So, this is now our final answer. So, that is our example. Well, we have the integral of b cubed cosine squared b fourth sine v fourth dv. Okay, so we will have where okay, n 
is equal to positive 2. This one, positive 2. And then our u, our u that is equal to cosine b to the fourth. Okay. So du, du that is the derivative of cosine that is negative sine v to the fourth derivative of b to the fourth that is 4v cubed dv so therefore our du that is equal to negative 4 v cube sine v to the fourth dv okay. so you will have so therefore here you will have the integral of cosine squared v to the fourth okay then you will have negative four okay negative four v cube sine v to the fourth dv Okay, so this one, you have negative 4, so multiply negative 1 over 4. So from that, as you can see here, we have our du. This one is our u to the n. So, proceed now to the formula. You will have negative one-fourth cosine cube, that is three, two plus one, v to the fourth, over three plus c. So, final answer, negative 1 over 12 cosine cube b to the fourth plus c so that is now the final answer okay in this example we have our so our n is equal to three halves negative three halves okay we'll bring that up then u here u is equal to one minus four tangent theta du you will have negative four derivative of tangent second squared theta d theta so therefore you will have the integral of 1 minus 4 tangent theta negative 3 halves then you will have negative 4 second squared theta d theta so we have negative 4 here, multiply negative 1 fourth. So that is now a complete form of, this is now our du, this one is our u to the n. Okay. So from that, we will have we will have negative one fourth okay negative three halves plus one okay so you will have negative one half so you will have one minus four tangent theta 
So you will have negative one half over negative one half plus c. So negative negative that is positive four divided by two that is two. So you will have you will have positive one half one minus four tangent theta negative one half plus c so that is now the final answer so that is now the final answer where u is equal to negative one half i n sorry n is equal to negative one half u is equal to u is equal to three plus Four second x. So du is equal to four second x tangent x dx. So therefore, you will have the integral of three plus four second x raised to one half second x tangent x so you still have four the x so because you have four you have four so multiply one fourth so this is now a complete form. This one is our du. This one is our u to the n. So therefore we have one four three plus four second x. So this is negative is negative because we bring that up so therefore we will have negative plus one that is negative one half okay so we will have here oh, negative one half so that is plus one half so over one half plus c so our final answer that is 4 divided by 2 that is 2 so you will have 1 half okay. so you will have 3 plus 4 second x raised to 1 half plus c so that is now our answer. So, that's it.